next speaker is Dr. <laughs> Matthew. Uh, how you doing? Hey, how are you doing? Not too well. Hey, Matthew, can you introduce yourself to everyone here? Yeah, I'll just do a, a slight introduction because I had something uh, bigger planned, but um, these last couple of answers kind of pissed me off a little bit. But um, so basically, I've been on YouTube for, you know, about three years now and uh, three and a half years, actually. Um, and I've been investing for close to 10 years. I was one of those people that um, didn't get into Bitcoin, you know, uh, when I was told to. And I probably should have. Um, but I've only been investing in cryptocurrency for a little bit now. But I've noticed as I was getting into Shiba Inu and, you know, all the different pieces there, just there was just so much that, you know, needed to be said. So I decided to make a bunch of videos on it, just like I was doing with all of my other investing and personal finance content. So I've been creating videos with my Matthew Perry channel for a while. And then I also have a Let It Burn channel where we burn off 100 percent of the profits within that channel. Um, but, yeah, that's that's pretty much it there. That's you. That's you. OK, listen, what's your questions? Well, I, I just wanted to start out before we get into that. I wanted to thank you guys for in, inviting me. Uh, I appreciate you guys taking this time to do that. Um, I did just want to say that it, you know, all of the questions that we've seen so far, there have been a couple, especially the ones with Clay, where it looked like, you know, it, it just wasn't, you know, being answered, you know, especially when it comes to just drawing lines from SHIB to other pieces. So I kind of want to start there, you know, because from what we understand, you guys are going to be more transparent you know, from, you know, the articles and blogs that I've seen and that have been written, it's about transparency and it's about, you know, you know, being open to the community, right? So understanding how we draw lines from SHIB to all of the other pieces, you understand that those lines are being drawn in one direction. And that's what we're all seeing as a community, you know, and I understand how we have that vision, you know, the vision where uh, you want to create all these other pieces, but the the vision was also with the thought that everything would be tied to SHIB. So I want to understand, like, why is everything not finding a way to tie to SHIB throughout utility? I understand we have renaming the plots of land. That's not utility. Buying SHIB, uh, buying land with SHIB, that's utility, which I've heard that you're starting to uh, venture into. Um, sh uh, you know, uh, should what's, what's it called? The NFTs. I can't even think of them. Uh, NFT names, uh, basically those would be uh, better if we had a way to buy with SHIB or burn with SHIB in some form or fashion. So all the other pieces, bone, leash, all of those other pieces should have a way to implement um, um, you know, some sort of utility uh, within Shiba Inu, which is the way that you guys got here. So I just want to you know, get an understanding as to why we are not seeing that full connection um, from everything else that's in the ecosystem or outside and, you know, SHIB being in the middle as king, you know, you know your own words, I guess. Yeah, sure, Matthew. And uh, thanks for, for coming up and asking the question. So, um, like I said before, I tried to watch a, a couple of uh, YouTube videos from everybody that's that's coming up tonight just to kind of mm -hmm. get a feel for the questions you might ask. And I know you've, you've covered this quite a bit. And I yeah. want to offer you a little bit of a paradigm shift in that um, SHIB is not the only focal point, and I think we've kind of gone over that a little bit tonight, is that it's the full ecosystem. And I, under, I, I, under, I understand that. I just want to stop you. I'm sorry to, to cut you off. I just want to stop you. So you understand that SHIB is not the focal point, but to the community, um, to the community that's supporting everything else within the ecosystem, it's more like SHIB being a mascot to everything else. Because if you look at something like Wellies, right now, Wellies is starting to do so much more or the thought of them doing so much more, but just being able to capture that picture of, you know, changing who they are just by an image is using them as a mascot rather than doing something to support SHIB or even the ecosystem in general. It's mainly to support a lot of things that Wellies is going to do and the business Matthew. is going to do. And that's great. Matthew, but, Matthew. Uh, Matthew. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to roll you up there. You're going well, on a bit of a rant. Let our change. I understand. understand. Let, let understandable but just thought there okay yeah no and, no no yeah I appreciate the passion and, and enthusiasm uh for shib and uh, and uh, you know the way i try to think about the ecosystem is the shib is that flagship that mascot 
that you're you're talking about there, but mm-hmm. not to the detriment of the rest of the ecosystem. So uh, if, if you have, let's say, a three-legged stool, you don't try to put all your weight on one leg. You try to put your weight on all three legs. So we, we can't just discount leash and bone at, in the short term or the long term just to kind of pump up the price or reduce the supply through burns for, for SHIB itself. So right. it, every piece of the ecosystem is is really what matters and uh, you know that that may not be what you want but everything whether it's john richmond or wellies or whatever the projects that the the devs are working on it's to build that foundation for shiba inu itself and these aren't uh you know quick uh get rich quick or pump and dump projects these are long-term foundational projects that are projected out for years into the future this isn't something that's going to turn a price or uh, pump a price in in just a couple months you know all the price action that we see is 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 great when it goes up and we all hate riding that emotional roller coaster on the way down but um you know i and really i'm not sure if it's um i i really think it is kind of that paradigm shift uh, just well, watch it. Well, can I just can I can I just say like I, I understand you know how you know things can seem like we're getting off you know maybe on a rant here right, um, but understand that asking the tough questions is how we get to a place to where everything is successful. I understand. I want leash and bone and all of the other pieces to be successful as well, and we have to understand that the way that you got here was with Shib. So the community, the one point one, almost one point two million holders would support the the other parts of the ecosystem so much more if they had some sort of piece that was connected with with SHIB in some sort of way. I'm not saying that you need to focus solely on SHIB and that SHIB is just going to be, uh, you know, everything there and everything else can just fall off. No, you have to build an ecosystem there, but other things support SHIB to pull SHIB to a different, to a higher price while the ecosystem also pushes the other pieces to another price. This is why you're probably going to see way more land sales with the fact that you can buy with SHIB than you would with ETH because people want utility. That's the, that's the thing that I'm saying. And okay. again, it's about the difficult questions. And I know people are going to cut me off. You know, Rowdy, I see no, no, you I, already I, 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 I'm but... <laughs> I'm trying to. I understand difficult questions. Sometimes the delivery can be a little elongated. We need a little bit more concise because there's a time frame here. And I brought you up. So listen. Scorch is going to answer you, and then Queen's going to answer you. You got to get your second question, Matthew, and make it concise, right? So, Scorch, you go ahead. Hey, so I wanted to say that you keep saying this is how you got here, mm-hmm. and my my heart is going. That's how we all got here. Okay, like we are but all we you, don't support- Matthew. No, listen. We're ahead, all ahead, you. Sorry. Listen, I'm a member of the community just like you're a member of the community. Understand. Okay. So um, this is how we all got here. But like, think about this. Um, what we want to do is take over and do something that completely transcends what crypto is doing today, right? And is it possible to do with just that one piece without any be, being able to add anything or expand or do anything? Uh, maybe, but could it be better if we could have a robust system to be able to do it in a great foundation? Yeah. And that's I, what we're trying to do. We're trying to get SHIB out into the world, right? We're trying to get it on Wally so that we can take over the restaurant industry. We have John Richmond, who's doing the fashion industry. But, we're going but to I'm saying, implement... how is SHIB taking over the world if you're doing that? I'm, I'm not, we're going to keep running it, around in circles here. How is it not? Here. How is it not? Because if you launch something like John Richmond, right? Okay. What, what is really benefiting SHIB from John Richmond? Besides, they, they have NFTs and they're benefiting from it. What, are, no, what is SHIB they're benefiting They're creating from? an NFT to be able to fund what they're doing. But think about when you have... Let's say like your kids, right? When they're growing up and they see the symbol of SHIB, that's going to be the symbol of the decentralized crypto movement that started they're, they're gonna, it all. Okay, that's they're gonna what think I They're going to think of my dog. I'll, I'll end it here. I'll end it here. But, they're, uh, they're probably going to think of my dog. Right. 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 I, I, I don't want to be disrespectful. No, no, I do, no, I do no, want to no, end no, with no, this for the second question. I will go into the second question right now. speak to you right now. Matthew. There you go. Go ahead. So 
Here we go. This is is on a loop, and I. Where does it all say it's going into ship? I, it, it's not just ship. It is the ecosystem entirely. It is up to people to build around ship. But and it's a decentralized. Anyone can do that. Anyone can do that, and I will prove that right now if you let me. <laughs> Everyone can do anything they want with ship, and that is what is stated: is decentralized. People are to are responsible for building around and towards ship. That's what the project's about, and the current devs are not in you know are not in charge of the project. It's just they're envisioning the project mm -hmm. going forward into the future. So here, you want to talk about burns all day? Let me say mm -hmm. this: if someone wants to um, utilize Shib in a decentralized way, the community mm -hmm. should be able to have a voice on that. If someone wants to build a donation portal that actually helps people, come see the defense team. We'll, we'll come help you and review it so you can talk sure to the actual will. developers. Because uh, I right. think I'm, I'm, not gonna, are... I'm not going to argue with it. Can I get in my second, second question? Sure, I feel course. like we no, are going to run yes. around in circles. I appreciate yes, you responding to that, Trophius. No, no worries um, at all. No worries at all. Yeah. So let's, let's just go into the second question because we are running around in circles just like we did with uh, Clay Bro and uh, going through that. So... <laughs> Uh, let's get into the second one. Um, basically, I wanted to know the end goal for the ecosystem. When you look at, you know, maybe ships market cap or utility or the minimum supply, because it seems like there's a lot of, um, you know, kind of hate towards the like full thought of burns. And if there is, then we want to know why. And, you know, is there a minimum supply that you guys want to get to? Or is there a goal that you have in mind for SHIB and the ecosystem? I'll take this one. I've had this question directed at me quite a few times. If anyone has any, go ahead, Queen. Me... And, and guys, we're gonna we're gonna get this answer from Queenie, and then unfortunately, Matt, you've got a lot of time, uh, and then we're gonna have to move on to the next guys. So, Queenie, go ahead. Hmm. So, it's a great question. Um, again, I acknowledge that I've actually had multiple people reach out to me. One thing that I want to stress, and I, I really can't stress this enough, is. When we say that this is decentralized, when we say that we are community members just like everybody else, the only difference is that we are responsible for the development and the security of the platforms and applications owned by the Shiba Inu ecosystem. So I just want to stress that. Who are we to say what the target circulating supply is? Who are we to say what the target value of SHIB is? The point of SHIB is that, as Scorchia said, we are a movement. We are about pushing the boundaries. We are about seeing how far we can go. When we begin with nothing, no marketing wallet, as we've said, we don't have transactional taxes. We don't have anything like that. How far we can go as a community, building projects. And yes, I know, I acknowledge that there has been disparity between the community members of people who have good intentions and are mistaken for having bad ones, for people who have been questioned by our defense team members and they see it as interruption of decentralization. That is not the case. We are here to protect the project. We, there are so many, and I mean so many people who look to exploit those within the community. And so that is a message that I really just need to put out there that it's quite heartbreaking <laughs> to be a team built of people who are community members and to be accused every single day of exploiting this community that we dedicate hours of our lives to. I have a full-time job, as, as does pretty much everybody else, and I spend majority of my day, upwards of 16 hours, doing things for SHIB. And I'm not saying that to be, oh, woe is me. Um, that's not the point. What I'm saying is that there is no point, there is no timeline, there is no universe in which this team is not doing everything we can for this project, everything we can to develop these tokens, to flesh out this ecosystem, to realize this vision. And to your question, no, we don't have a target circulating supply. No, we don't have a target price. We have a goal of creating a healthy ecosystem in which people can take charge of their own financial 
freedom, their own futures, not at the whims of banks and corporatization and being victims of where you were born and how strong the government currency is in your country. It's about a fair playing field. And I know people are going to say, well, what's so fair about having to buy lands in ETH? Because not everybody can afford that. I get that. I really do. Unfortunately, we also live in a world where you need money to make money. And that is a sad reality. But the beautiful thing about SHIB, and something I have said since day dot, you can find my messages in Discord from back when I started, SHIB is plentiful. SHIB is affordable. That doesn't mean we don't want to see an increase in price. That doesn't mean we don't want people to prosper. But what it means is that everybody gets a go. And that is why SHIB is so popular. It's why it's so many people's first cryptocurrency. Because you can afford it. You can go on to any centralized exchange these days. You can buy SHIB. You can invest it. You, like, you, know, you can stake it. You can provide liquidity. You can stake it on Binance. And we are building utility for it. But the thing is, SHIB is currency, leash is exclusivity, bone is governance, and gas. The reason for this is because SHIB, for SHIB to be currency, we need to build the locations for you to use it. We need to build the utility. It's no point me saying, yeah, here you go, here's all your SHIB, and it's worth this much now. Have, have fun. It's like, okay, but where am I using it? What's the point? It's great every, if you just want to make gains, but it's not what we're here to do. We're not a pump and dump. We're not just a an investment vehicle. If you want that, go invest in another top fifteen token. I'm not afraid to say yeah. that. Yeah, I, I've never I've never said that. Uh, the goal is to just be a pump and dump, or just to be you know uh, a form where we're just looking at it for just quick gains out of nowhere. It's obviously I know the ecosystem is big, and I respect what you guys are doing. It's just the little pieces that people see and that's what really matters where it's like this could have been you know a 0.5 percent into caring about shiba inu or burning or something like that so i respect everything you said and and what everybody's doing you i'm not saying you guys are exploiting anything or anybody we just you know want to make sure we see that transparency to the ecosystem that you have 1.1 million holders to so i appreciate your guys' time uh, I don't want to disrespect anybody else. It seems like I may have, you know, stepped on a couple of uh, toes or, or something here. Oh, but no, I really man, appreciate your time. We're... Yeah, no oh, yeah. matter. Everyone, everyone's big yeah. kids here. I'm gonna I'll let Archangel. Like... Archangel just wants everything. thing. Matt, he yeah, yeah, crypto yeah. is so, passionate. But go ahead, Angel. Yeah, and uh, I, I definitely appreciate where you're coming from, Matthew. And you know, I, I put out a poll on Twitter the other day that basically said which was what, what do you think was the biggest news of the last two weeks and the two options were uh shib the metaverse and the burn portal and it went it, about how i expected you know the burn portal uh came out like it was like 61 39 or something like that uh, to burn portal's favor for the news and so you know and uh, as far as tweets go I've, I've gotten far more engagement about burns so one of the things that i was able to establish is burns make great news make great headlines uh make great youtube clicks but um looking at the actual burn portal only uh, what i think 1200 people a little over 1200 people have actually participated a little over 1200 wallets out of 1.1 uh, million DeFi wallets that are out there and I think that's telling over the last week that while we have burned uh, 20 billion SHIB, that came down to about 1,200 people. And so while the impact in, in maybe the marketing side is uh, a lot bigger saying burn, burn things, um, you know, SHIB the metaverse brought in about $21 million in about a week's time. Whereas the burn portal burnt 20 million SHIB or 20 billion SHIB. So uh, what we're looking at is things that make a fi financial and foundational impact and not just a marketing impact. And uh, absolutely. That, yeah. that, that does. That does really, really help me. Uh, keep, keep me in mind for a question at the end. I know you guys probably don't want to after all of this. But keep <laughs> no, me in mind for a question at the end, please. Matthew, you really yeah. don't have to be so hard on yourself. Uh, the reason yeah. we do these AMAs is because we want to hear from you. 
Yeah. Just well, that's, that's what I, I, I said to my community that we we're looking to ask the hard questions because people that are successful don't get here by asking those softball sugar coated questions. We get here by basically walking into a room and saying, you know, what are the problems and how do we fix it? You know, <laughs> I guess that's a matter of perspective. For me, a hard question is things like, hey, will there be a new contract for Shibarium <laughs> slash yeah. tokens on Shibarium? Hey, if it comes to the, the message that, that in the ecosystem. Like a problem and you're fixing it with the response. Yeah, well, exactly. But also, you know, I know that people, I, I just a little bit that I wanted to add on, and I know, Rowdy, we've got to, we've got to move on, and I, I will. Um, uh, can I when speak I say, uh, before Matthew goes down, by the way? Yes, I'll Wait, just quickly. You go ahead first. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah uh, all I was going to say, Matthew, is that we have released, like, there's pretty much no, no project that we've done or facet of our ecosystem that we've done so far that doesn't have SHIB utility or something in mind. Um, also, Wellies just recently, their final utility announcement, 15% um, is owned by SHIB, and that includes revenue from all stores, all franchises. So big things are happening, but as I mentioned, it's a currency, and you know, <laughs> without the places that the currency is circulating being fully developed, there's nothing to say. So that's why it is our focus. Um, but I understand the frustration. And as you said, it's a large community um, and we all owe each other accurate and adequate progress and updates. But it's just one of those things where if I wish we could tell you absolutely everything, I wish we had every single answer. But when you're paving the way into the unknown when no one else has trodden, sometimes you don't. <laughs>